Today we will deal with the grammatical topic and our topic is conditions. Or you can say that today we will deal with conditional sentences. What are the conditional sentences and how we prepare these sentences and what are the ways to prepare these sentences. So first of all conditionals. What are the conditionals? Conditional sentences are those sentences in which we find the condition like if you had worked hard, you would have succeed in your life. So these are the sentences in which we find a condition. Mainly conditional sentences are made up of two clauses. First one, if clause. Second one, main clause. In if clause, we find condition like or we can say that this if clause lays on the condition. And the second part, you can say main clause. In this clause, we find the action, action to be performed. So first of all, conditionals. Conditional sentences can be divided into two parts. First one, if clause, and second, main clause. And if clause, or you can say if clause lays on condition, or we find condition in our if clause and main clause. In main clause, we find action to be performed for example if you had worked hard you might have or would have succeed in exam so this can be the example of the conditional sentence like if you had worked hard you might have or you would have succeed in your life now we divide these conditional sentences in, into four part and these four part are first one is zero type in which we include the those sentences which are based on scientific facts or which are based on general truths then second part is a probable part these parts deals with the real life situations and in these part we find that these things can happen any uh, time or you can say real life like situations we find in these sentences then third part is the second type in that we deal with the improbable sentences and these are the sentences which deals with the unreal situations or you can say the situations which cannot take place or which uh, takes place very rarely and the fourth one and the last one is the third that is in which we find that impossible sentences and in impossible sentences we find that these things or this situation cannot take place because this has already and i mean time has already passed so types of conditionals zero type in this type we find general truths and scientific facts then second or you can say first type that is probable or you can say real life-like situation another part is the second type that is improbable and it deals with unreal situations unreal situations and the third type is impossible which cannot take place so mainly there are the four types of the conditional zero type first type second type and the third type
Now let's start to discuss zero type sentences. Or you can say general truths and scientific facts. In such type of sentences, we find a condition if clause, mainly there are the two clause, if clause and the main clause. And we made the sentences the first part, like if we have if clause, then our first sentence or our if clause will be in present indefinite. And our second part, or you can say main clause, will be also in present indefinite. So, when we make the sentences or when we prepare the sentences of zero type, then we made the if clause in, in the present indefinite and the main clause also in the present. Or we can say we apply the rule of the present indefinite to both the clauses. Be it if clause and be it main clause. Like for example, if you heat ice, it melts. So, this part, if you heat ice, this is present indefinite. And then the second part, or you can say main clause, that is also again in present indefinite. So we can say in zero type sentences, we prepare or we make the sentences with the rule of the present indefinite. We prepare the if clause in the according to the present indefinite and main clause also according to the present indefinite. Like if you heat ice, it melts. Or another example you can take, if we love others, others love us. If we love others, others love us. So these are the sentences of zero type. And mainly when we find any scientific fact or when we find any general truth, we apply the rules of the present indefinite on both the part, be it if clause and be it main clause. The both the clauses will be prepared or both the clauses will be in present indefinite. Then come to the first part. First part. Probable, or you can say real situation. In this type of sentences, we prepare the sentence of the if clause into present indefinite, and the main clause will prepare with the will. Like if, then present indefinite, then will. For example, if this car troubles us again, comma, we will sell it off. If this car troubles us again, we will sell it off. So here you see that the first sentence is in present indefinite form. Or you can say simple present. Present indefinite. Our first sentence is in present indefinite. And our second sentence is prepared with the will. Then Sometimes what happens, in second part, here we has used the will. This will can be replaced by various models. And what can be these models? These models can be can, could, might, may, would. So sometimes this will can be replaced by models also. So there we will uh, write that if, then present indefinite, then can, might, may, should, etc. For example, if we will
reach theater before time we can get the tickets so in this sentence if we will reach theater before time we can get the tickets so here we find possibility and in the case of possibility we use can another example you can take that if you have uh, your identity card if you have your id then you can come in again in this sentence also we use can so can shows the possibility sometimes it happens that uh, we use where we find the command like uh, if you want to keep fit there we will be use directly the command then we don't use the any type of model for example if you want to keep fit in your life live a discipline life or if you want to success in your life if you want to succeed in your life use your time effectively so here in this sentence we find a command and where we find a command we don't use the models or the models doesn't replace the any word there we directly write the command like if you want to succeed in your life use your time effectively then sometimes what happen in if clause now we were discussing the changes in the main clause sometimes our if clause can be prepared in present indefinite present continuous and present perfect and our second clause will be will or you can say can could might etc or you can say models should be reused according to the situation for example if you are looking for a good hotel i can suggest you so in this sentence what we find our first sentence is in present continuous and second part is prepared according to the models present continuous and here is the use of can or you can say can is showing the possibility sometimes we can prepare sentences like this also or if clause can be changed uh, the our sentences can be in indefinite our sentences can be in continuous and our sentences can be in perfect as i has already written here like if you are looking for a good hotel i can suggest you and if we talk about the present perfect we can take the example if you have finished your work you can go home if you have finished your work you can go home so in this sentence we find that our first sentence is in present perfect in second part is in second part is preparing according to can or you can say again it shows the 
posse blitty so these are the examples of the first type or that is probable now second type or you can say m probable or you can say these sentences deals with unreal situations like if i had money i would lend you if i had money i would lend you so what we see here that if clause then past indefinite and then would if so our first sentence should be prepared according to the past indefinite and our second part will be prepared with the use of would and we can take the another example also like if i were you i would resign from this job or you can take another example like if she saw ghost she would screamed so what happens here we find improbable situations so you can say unreal situations if she saw ghost she would scream but the reality is what that she didn't saw any ghost if she saw ghost she would scream if i had money i would lend you but in reality what happens he don't have money i don't have money and she didn't saw the ghost so this type of sentences deals with the unreal situations then sometimes this would can be replaced by the models also that can be according to the situation sometimes could can replace this would and sometimes other words can replace this would for example if i had money i could buy that house again this uh, sentence shows the unreal situation or you can say improbable sentence if i had money i could buy that house if i had so what is the reality that he don't have money if he had money he could buy the house so sometimes what happens uh, we find a change in if clause also and what is that change sometimes these sentences prepared if then were to then infinite verb and then would if were to plus and finite verb and then would for example if he were to win a lottery he would become a rich person or you can say he would be a rich person so what happens here we find that our first sentence or our if clause is prepared uh, according to word to plus infinite verb and then our last sentence is in the form of verb another example we can take that if i were to go a hill station i would go to nenital if i were to go to hill station i would go to nani tal so this can be the 
another method of these improbable sentences. Now come to the third type of the sentences and third type of the sentences are the sentences which deals with the impossible situations. Third type sentences or you can say impossible. These types of sentences deals with the situations or deals with the things which are impossible. Like if you had worked hard you would have passed the exam So this type of sentences deals with the situation which are impossible or which cannot take place. Like in this sentence, if you had worked hard, you would have passed the exam. Means if you had worked hard, you could pass the exam. But he didn't work hard and now what happens? Now he cannot pass the exam. So here what can be the formula if then first part will be prepared according to past perfect and in second part we find would have plus past participle. You can take another example like if you had worked hard you, could, you would have succeeded in your life. They, again they can be this type of the sentences also can prepare according to another method also and that is we can replace this if with the had like had you worked hard had you worked hard you would have succeed in your life had you worked hard you would have succeed in your life but what happened he didn't work hard and he could not success now he cannot succeed in his life so another example we can take that if you had watered these seeds regularly they would have sprouted means if you had watered these seeds regularly they would have sprouted now we can transform the sentence according to the head also like had you watered these seeds regularly they would have sprouted so what happens the first sentence will be in the past perfect and then second part sentence or the main clause will be according to the would have and there will be past participle so these are the main types of conditionals and these are the main uh, things which we deal in the conditional sentences. They are the particular rules which we need to apply on such sentences. And these are the main rules which we need to remind in our mind while preparing any conditional sentences.